Hey everybody, so for this video, we're going to be looking at essentially how to insert cool stuff. Pictures, videos, diagrams, clip art, all of that. So let's start here on this slide that I have, which has a picture and also some clip art. So how did I do this? Let's get rid of it so that I can then show you how. So first off, um, when inserting a picture, you can insert from images that you have on your computer. So if I go to upload from computer, um, the picture that I had there is actually of something called a bait ball. You'll learn about it uh, when you take a, um, AP environmental science or um, a, uh, other environmental science courses. And so you put it in here and I just double clicked in it and I got this really cool image. Nice, bait ball. And so another way though that you can get an image is if you click here on insert and click search the web. And actually Google Slides, because it's part of Google, will pull up a search engine right here for Google Images and I can type in bait ball and it shows me some of its own images. Um, and so bait balls make whales really happy because it's a really good dinner plan. Um, and I might grab this image here and then click insert. And so it adds my image here very nicely um, to this open space here. And so that's how you can insert images. You got two options. You can upload from your um, laptop or your computer, or you can search the web and load it from there. And that gives you pictures. Now, there's also something called clip art, which is really fun. So clip art does take a little more digging, but it is definitely well worth it and kind of the kind of cool um, outcomes that I can have for your Google Slides. So what I do is I go to Google Images and then in Google Images, I'll do a search. So say I wanna find like a penguin clip art. And so all these adorable little penguins pop up, but it's a trick. Not all of these are clip art. So let me show you how you know it's clip art or not. So this has a white background, not clip art, white background, not clip art, white background, not clip art. This is a bummer, white background, not clip art, or any of you clip art. There's got to be one out there. Where are you, clip art? Oh, man. And these are clip art. This is a bummer. Not a lot of penguin clip art, guys, that's actually usable. <laughs> there we go. That's not the cutest penguin I've ever seen. <laughs> but the way that you know you have found clip art, which took a long time for this example, is you'll see this little checkered box at the back. So for instance, when I click on this one, it has a solid white background. It's not actually clip art, it's just a picture. But when I click here, I have this checker box here. And so if I right click and then click save image as, I can type in penguin. And I actually already have penguin clip art because why not? And then I put penguin two and it's saved. So now when I go back over to my slides, I wanna add in an adorable penguin. So I go insert and I would upload from my pictures on my computer. And I type in penguin and you know what? I'm going to do my original penguin one because I think it's cuter. I love him. And so you'll see the reason why it's clip art is because it overlaps over my images. It doesn't have a background. And so I'm going to make him a little bit smaller, but I can have him just like cheerfully been cute in my presentation. And he overlaps over the pictures um, and just adds like, kind of a cool element to a presentation. And so that's how you can add clip art. And like I said, it I, I totally admit it takes a little digging. You have to go through all these images to find which one's actually clip art. But then when you find it, it is kind of worth it because it's pretty cute. All right, so let's talk about the next one, how to insert a video. So I use Bluey because my kid likes Bluey. Um, but what you need to do is you first need to go to YouTube itself and find the video that you want to use. So I'm going to a regular Google, I'm going to go to YouTube, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to use Bluey. All right. So for Bluey, I'm just going to go and grab this one, and I want to copy the URL. I don't really want to watch this. Cool. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back here. And so now I want to insert that video that I found. To do that, I go to insert, 
and I click video and you can actually upload a video that you have loaded to your Google Drive. So if you made a video project, for instance, on your own that you wanna load into a slide for presentation, you could do that by loading it up through Google Drive. But if you wanna use um, a YouTube video, you go here to YouTube, you click here and you paste the URL, hit enter, and it pulls up the YouTube video itself. And so I'll double click on that and it inserts the video into my presentation so that I can then use it. And in another video, we talk about kind of format options and how you can kind of control where the video starts, ends, it's audio, all that jazz. Definitely worth checking that out to see how you can manipulate this video. But that is kind of the basics of how you insert a video into your presentation to use. Now, when you have videos in your presentation, unless of their videos originally created by you, you probably shouldn't have a video that's more than 30 seconds. So if I was gonna use something like this, I maybe would start at one minute and I would have it end at one minute and 20 seconds because I don't want the majority of my video to be someone else's work. I want it to be my work. And so I would make sure that I'm only using a small video clip, which is something that format options can allow you to do. And that's how you insert a video and make it work for your presentation. All right, last thing. So we've talked about how to insert images and in clip art. We've talked about how to insert a video. How do you insert a diagram? And so um, I'm actually just gonna create a new slide because that'll be easier. So say that I have a project and my teachers asked me to put a diagram in there. It'd be, it would take a long time for me to build that myself and it's not necessary. So you go to insert, you go to diagram and you have all these different types of diagrams that you can insert. So for instance, cycle, ooh, these are so pretty. So I can insert this really nicely formatted uh, diagram and then I can double click and add in my own text so that it becomes the diagram that I need. And you'll see that there are hierarchies, there are cycles, there's a ton of different diagram shapes already existing in Google Slides that you can use to make really professional presentations without a lot of stress for you. And so I highly recommend using those diagrams in your presentations because they look great, they help you explain things really well, and they're not hard to do. And that is how you use a bunch of the cool insert tool functions. I hope this helped and maybe I'll see you in another video. Bye.